Hi everybody. My name is Brandon Bishop and welcome to One Nation Under Pop. You wanna know where we're at today? Let me give you a hint. We are in Everett, Washington at So like I've said many times, you're talking to a 46, soon to be 47 year old man who's never been more excited in his entire freaking life. Yes, there's the birth of my son. Yes, I've had some amazing tacos in my life, but this is it. It smells like vinyl painted little people. Oh my goodness. Yep. Yep, one chase per day per, per, per person. So that's me, the camera person, and we're gonna have to hire some bums or something to come in here because there's more than one chase that I want. Uh, I almost ordered these last night. Good thing I didn't. In the bag, oops, different creep show. Okay, oh, different creep show. Okay. <laughs> This is just going to be like a complete, I'm glad I'm wearing a mask in here because it's gonna be like a complete shock and awe type of deal where I'm just uh, literally a kid in a candy store. No, I'm Brandon in a Funko Pop store. Oh. I don't even know how it's possible that there's four Nightmare Before Christmas Pops that we don't have in the collection. I mean, until now, <laughs> of course. I don't even know what these are. Oh, they got Santa Claus. I've been here for five minutes and I'm breaking a freaking sweat. Most likely due to the mask, which I hate. I know you guys want to see this. This is what makes the money, right? Uh. Breaking a sweat. Again, I don't know why I started collecting Mickey Mouses. I have no freaking idea. No idea. I don't even know how the hell I'm getting these home, to be honest with you. I have to have check another bag. So I'm here with Liz. Liz, how cool is it to work here? I'm like, literally shaking with excitement to get, I've been here like I said, 10 minutes, maybe five minutes. Just, I wanna just dive into things and just throw boxes around and just go crazy. How cool is it to work here? It's about the coolest job ever. I get to play with toys and collectibles all day long. Are and you hiring too? We are not. But we get to hang out with collectors and talk about our collections. It's pretty amazing just to be able to talk about pop culture all day. Are you a collector as well? I am. I'm, how many do you have? I, I, I'm going to be shunned here, like just blown away, aren't I? I mean, I lost track. I have uh. over a thousand. <laughs> uh, I've been with Funko for seven years. Oh, wow. uh, so it's really easy to lose track, but definitely over a thousand. Well, we're all addicted to these things. It's. It's ridiculous. Why are we so ridiculous? What is it about this? What is it? is it the marketing? Is it the actual product? What is this? I think it brings nostalgia to us as humans, right? So we see it and we think of our childhood 
or something that's comforting like a TV show that you recently watched that you fell in love with. You can also fall in love with the character and then have it in your hands. It also shows who you are. So if somebody comes over to your house and they look at your collection, they can kind of get a jazz of your personality and who you are. That is so true. Who is in charge? Give me a name or a department or something. Who's in charge of getting the licensing? Because you have all the stuff that I love. Yeah. That's why I think you're not going to come out with anything else that I love. Oh, there's an Anchorman series. It's like, oh, awesome, perfect. Now I need to buy that one. Oh, there's this, there's that, there's more Rick and Mortys. There's. Oh. The licensors are always in charge. They decide if we get the license or not, but Brian Mariotti is a big guy in town, and he usually gets to decide if we're going to make it or not, as long as the licensor says yes. Does he get a lot of hugs from strangers? Ah, uh, I don't know. Is he here? Because No, he's not here. He actually just left yesterday. And we're not even allowed to hug people anymore, so I no, can't we're not allowed to hug anybody. to give to him later. I was going <laughs> to do that, but I was like, oh, I can't do that now. But anyway, I, I see pieces. Can, can you show me what's happening over here? Because yeah, of course. So what is this? There's little pieces of Funko Pops everywhere. Uh, this is where you can build your own. So currently we're in the Monsters and the Freddy Funko, who's our mascot. So you can pick and choose where your head, torso, legs, and accessories look like currently. You got frog feet. Yeah. Or yeah. dragon feet. One dragon of feet. Dragon feet. So can I build something? Yeah, of course. This is so much fun. So what you want to do is start with your heads, your torsos, and legs. Oh, there's okay. I'm going to put frog feet back. Okay, so I got a blue head because it matches my eyes. Yeah. Okay, now what do I do? And then you grab a torso of your choice. Oh, this is so much fun. How, how, how much do people love this? Because I love this already. Like, they love it, they love it. Okay, that doesn't really match. She's like, I thought this was going to be a five minute interview. Now I'm going to watch you build a pop. You just push, is that in? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So then Legs. you get some feet. This is so much fun. Seriously, if you're anywhere near Everett, Washington, or planet Earth, and you have kids, or you're a big kid like me, you have to do this. I'm making a pop right now. Oh, you got little tails! I don't know, I'm, I'm just, what is that? Is that it's a mohawk. Oh, that goes on his head. Yeah. Awesome. So much fun. <laughs> How many of these have you built? I have built several of them. <laughs> Usually with people, so we'll come in and help them build. Well, I appreciate you helping me, but what is that? That's a face! Yeah! That's so cool. Oh, my guy's coming together good. I'm taking this home, too, and I'm going to keep this forever. There'll be no auctioning of this. That's a mouth. That's a mouth. I need a butt. If I get if I get a butt, I'm done. Where's the butts? Oh, here's the butts! Yeah, so there's tails here, too. Oh, there's ears, too! And tails. Oh, my goodness. This might be the most fun I think I've ever had in my entire life. And I've literally been here, like I said, not very long. I shall call him Henry. I love Henry. <laughs> and then you can make a regular Freddy Funko. And Liz is the busiest woman in the world and she's being so nice watching me to sit here and be a, a large child. So we have monster boxes. Oh, awesome. And Freddy boxes. And then after we wrap it up and put it in the box, we put it in this box for safekeeping. Well, this guy and this guy, these guys, these guys are coming home with me. They're gonna put them in the box, and uh, I'm <laughs> so excited to have these guys as part of the collection now. These are one of a kinds, probably, maybe. Yeah. I'm sure some five-year-old has made better ones, but these are, these are, these are mine, these mean something. So. so, like I said, these are definitely coming home to me. Unique additions to the collection here. This place, thank you so much, I'm so excited to get busy in there. It's, this is gonna break a sweat, this is bad. It's gonna be awesome. And I have these two buttons for you. We're celebrating buttons. our third anniversary. So you've been here for three, only three years? Three years. See, I've only been collecting for like a year. And it seems like this place has been around since the 70s or something. <laughs> it seems like it has such a history to it already, but you're practically brand new. Yeah, brand new store. Cool. Well, we're gonna walk around and we're going to buy a lot of things. Is that okay with you? Absolutely. Okay, just uh, if I make a mess, just forgive me. We got plenty of ways to pick it up. Okay, you're awesome. Let me give you yeah. a... Yeah. And there it is. I got a button. <laughs> Yeah, 
literally, we've already filled one basket. Luckily, Liz says that we can leave baskets behind the counter and continue to stack them up as we go along so we don't have to keep carrying around all these full baskets. Holy crap. I mean, just as a Funko Pop collector, which I am, which a lot of you are if you're watching this show, this is the Mecca. This is the place, like, like if you're religious and you go to Jerusalem and you go head the wall and you're just doing this against the wall or mumbling things or whatever they do, that's what this place is for Funko Pop collectors. And I just offended so many people right now, but it's fine because I don't care because I am in bliss. <laughs> I've said many, 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 many times. I'm not a big like Marvel or DC guy or superhero fan. I'm just not, okay? Whatever, you can be. I'm not gonna judge you, don't judge me. But I love me some Deadpool. And the Deadpool pops are absolutely hilarious. I've only got the one with the Thanksgiving dinner, but I think <laughs> Bedtime Deadpool is coming home with us. And I think that uh, Bob Ross Deadpool is definitely, definitely coming home with us. Oh boy, my wallet is nervous right now. My bank's gonna call me like, are you in Everett, Washington buying, what are these, Funko Pops? I'll be like, yes, don't bother me, I'm busy. This might be one of the coolest things ever. <laughs> I just wanna touch it. Okay, camera lady, it's Disney time. I know that you're gonna be losing a lot of breaths and gasping like I do over what's right behind me right now. So bring the camera, I'll bring the basket. Let's cause some damage. This one? <laughs> okay, seriously, I don't care how much it costs. This is the building that we're in right now. <laughs> and there's a little Freddy Funko with two shopping bags. We're gonna have more shopping bags than Freddy Funko. This is, you just have to take it. You have to take it with you. Mine. I don't know when this became the camera person's collection. I don't know. It just kind of switched over from my collection at one point to now hers, but I know she doesn't have this one. This is all Disney. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, I don't think we have this one. Pretty sure we don't. I'll check. And there's a large Oogie Boogie, which we do have, and a large Jack Skellington, so. Yep, we're gonna have to check another bag. Oh no, look at that. Her eyes are really big behind the camera right now. the ad icon which is one of my favorite lines that Funko has I don't have the giant kool-aid that's a Target exclusive I think or a Walmart one and I don't have this one either so mine that's going in the cart I like how the cart perfectly lets you have two Funko Pops next to each other I don't have the coca-cola bear <laughs> ah, there's so many only Billy Madison one that I did not have. I don't think I have this one. Pretty sure I don't have this one. And the only Happy Gilmore that I did not have. Unbelievable. Unbelievably, the two Billy Madison and Happy Gilmore ones that they have are the only two Adam Sandler ones, period, that I don't have. This is awesome. Actually, there's a Waterboy one I don't have either. I don't think they have it here, but... I'm happy with this find right here. This is worth the trip alone. Awesome. Mr. Sprinkles? I don't know what it is. I really don't know what that is, but I want it. But 
That's like the coolest thing. Okay, fine, Mr. Sprinkles. Let's talk your way into my house, why don't you? Jeez. It's like a theme park in here. The only thing we need is like a little restaurant that we can sit down, have a meal, rest, and then get back to it. So, oh no. How cool is that? I've seen this in a lot of places though, so I'm not gonna take it because it'd be a nightmare getting this home, but I want it. <laughs> All right, this is where it gets difficult because <laughs> I have so many of these. I have this, I have, do I have that? Oh, I have to get on the phone again and check it out. But these are awesome. I have most of these Pennywises. Pennywises? Pennywees? Pennies? Pennywises, that's fine. Thank goodness for the Funko Pop app because without it, no way I would remember what I have and what I don't have. And there's good Wi-Fi in here too. All right, let's start scanning things. I don't have this one. With beaver hat. I don't even know what that means, but it's ours. Batman is, he's in the Batmobile, he's he's just a badass. Now come over here. Poor Robin, young Robin, he's pole dancing. He never, he never, he is a superhero, he can do super things, but he never gets the respect that the other ones do. Look at him. There's, there's Def Leppard in the background right now. Probably like, pour some sugar on me. And he's just dancing and there's people throwing dollars at him. I really love the Stranger Things series on Netflix. My kid loves it, it's something we watch together. And I really wanna get started. But there's so many Stranger Things ones. There's like six or seven lines of them now. Mr. Bean. Not today, soon though. Soon the Stranger Things are gonna creep into the collection. Same with Game of Thrones and Walking Dead and, oh geez, don't even get me started on Star Wars. We are in the Pop Rocks section. They have two of the three Freddie Mercury's and two of the three, three Freddie Mercury's are now coming home with us. I think there's a chase on one of these and we will find it eventually. I think we're at about five, six thousand dollars now in Pops. It's insanity. Also, we found a Prince that we didn't have. I thought we had all the Princes. Nope. Should we get Shania Twain? So, I've been meaning to get started on these. Yeah, I, I know, it should have been the first ones. I get it, yeah, it's, of course that's what you're gonna say, but I don't know if now is the right, if now is the right time either, but soon, I promise you, soon you will start getting your cool black boxed Batman Pops. It's not right now, can you forgive me for that? Don't have to be rude about it. big play sets that I want. I can't get them all. Okay, it's time to get some uh, Funko Pop shopping workout in. Okay, I'm good. Whew. Feel the burn. My Harry Potter collection is just getting started. But what a place to make it a 
expanded just a little bit. These are absolutely cool as hell. I saw these at uh, Barnes and Noble and I wanted to buy all of them, but they were uh, badly damaged. Like someone just went in there and went crank, crank, crank. Stop doing that, kids. If I catch you, I will knock you out. I don't care if you're a 10 year old, I will knock you out. I'm kidding, I wouldn't do that. These are badass though. I'm taking at least one or 10 of these home with me. Would it be weird if I like just bought these three things and had them just in my tiny little apartment? We watch TV together, we can. It'd be weird, wouldn't it? I really gotta get into this Harry Potter collection. It may be my new Rick and Morty thing. And this is a great place to do it, but yeah. So awesome. So I'm on my third basket right now. Oh yeah. I'm, I'm sure I'm far from the record. What's the most that you've seen working here? Most I've seen, I've only been working here for a year, but the most I've seen is about $4,000. $4,000? Yes. <laughs> We're not going to be breaking the record today. Goodness. Did they just buy one of everything or was it? Um, I'm not quite sure. Or did they buy like the TomTom -tom here? <laughs> they were visiting from out of country, so I think they were bringing a lot back for family and friends, but. They have a store over there, that's what it is. They probably did, yeah. Well, thank you. I'm sure we'll get to four baskets by the time. <laughs> no problem. Awesome. I don't collect a whole lot of Star Wars Funko Pops because it's legitimately an undertaking because there's so many of them. But holy crap, this little section of the store, I mean, look at this over here. This might be one of the coolest parts of the, if not the coolest part of the store. As a huge Star Wars fan, I saw the first Star Wars in the theater. I'm showing my age now, but this is badass. This is like goosebumps. I love it. Okay, maybe one Star Wars because this one's really, 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 really cool. It's Han Solo in Carbonite. Yep, one. The sound of these things hitting the ground is one of the worst things. Like maybe the sound of your kid. That's not my kid, but the sound of your kid's head hitting the floor. You know that thunk sound? Sounds of these boxes hitting the floor, almost as bad. Almost. Hey, hey, Mark, uh. Daddy, what is this? <laughs> I can say that these are coming home with us, and I can say that there won't be a fourth basket but I might be lying to you. There's a bunch of other stuff that I just want to look at without being on camera. But the next thing we're gonna show being on camera is this stuff going in a box and lots of stuff coming out of my wallet. Yes, I'm a 46 year old, soon to be 47 year old man collecting Funko Pops. And I feel like that five year old kid rocking around out there. And I don't wanna leave. I might just be that kid that throws a tantrum and cry outside when I leave. It could very well happen. And maybe or maybe we won't catch it on camera, but this place is awesome. Like I said, if you were ever near this place, you have to come here. Even if you have one Funko Pop or 10,000 Funko Pops, this is the place, this is the Mecca, this is Funko Pop headquarters, people. All right, heading to the register. Yikes. So is there like a, like a warehouse with these things, just packed full of them somewhere? Yeah, we actually have three warehouses that are about 2.6 miles away from here. In each direction? Yeah, in one direction, right next to both. So do you have a key for that place? I'd like to check it out. I have a key to that place. Do you? I do. What? I what are we going in, What are we doing? I'll buy burritos, we can do this thing. <laughs> She's like, ha ha ha. Very funny, funny guy.
Fun for all ages, especially my age. Holy crap. We just went to the Funko headquarters. We just did that! I mean, holy crap, I have a show called One Nation Under Pop. Under Pop! I have 10,000, hell of a lot more than that now, dollars worth of these things, and I just went to where it all takes place. I feel rejuvenated. I feel born again somewhat. And I feel tired. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna find the nearest crappy food location that I can find here in Everett, Washington, because I'm starving. I'm gonna change this shirt because I've been perspiring and I'm not gonna wipe this smile off my face for as long as I have a face. Thank you for watching One Nation Under Pop. I am Brandon and uh, holy crap, what else can I say? We'll see you next time. No idea where we'll be, but we'll be there. See ya. Hey, I, I get it, you're a huge, look, we have some of these in here too. You're a huge Nightmare Before Christmas, I get it, okay, but we've got a huge store full of pops, so come on, let's go. It's not even for sale, let's go. It's, even if it was, we couldn't afford that, come, come on.